get something. Get stuff. <laughs> she said, uh, I'm a thorn in the side of Fayetteville day in and day out, all year long. And she was proud of that. Well, well she should be. I well, mean, and if you count this guy's mentality as the norm in Fayetteville, I mean, you know, and the Sarge would seem to concur, well, she should be proud. I am bursting with pride. And okay. I don't know. You don't even take time off for the holidays. I mean, you're just 24-7 <laughs> all year long. I mean. Yeah, I'm a, I am a perpetual thorn in the side. And that, that was in my job description when I took this job as a lemur. So, you know, um, what can I say? I, I uh, give, uh, that's my public service. And I give service with a smile. She wants to uh, hurt people in Fayetteville, is, is the way it seemed to me. Uh, uh, that statement, where does that come from? That's so clinically moronic, it's hard not to laugh. It comes from a damaged brain. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really going about hurting people <laughs> in Fayetteville. You can yeah. go down to Washington Regional and see all the people that I've personally fucked up <laughs> in this town. <laughs> you say, hey, you know, it's like um, you Shannon did this to you, didn't she? They have a Shannon. <laughs> they have a Shannon X Brock wing over at the hospital of people that I have fucking crippled. <laughs> so, uh, you know, so maybe the Sarge has a point. What the fuck? Uh. I just, if there are people in Fayetteville, you know, who are that mentally deficient, then, you know, we are and will always be a thorn in their side. And in being so, in our opinion, we're doing humanity a fucking service. Amen. Anyway, uh, they, they uh, uh, I heard her discussing uh, several things. Uh, um, she talked about wanting to shoot people in downtown Fayetteville. Uh, sh she talked about uh, uh, using profanity uh, quite often. And uh, the uh, young man that was uh, in the tape of their program as well uh, did the same thing. Yeah, I mean, as far as using profanity, hey, guilty is charged. Fucking but, uh, A. You know, yeah, and, you know, you know, fuck you if you don't like it. And if we're on TV making jokes about shooting people, well, gee, we're obviously out there doing it right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So here we, we have another case of this sap, a sap who is taking everything so literally. And this is a veritable epidemic in this society these days. Well, yeah. Uh, so here's a solution for all the morons out there. Let's just replace, let's take the English language, just replace the whole shebang with a simple little utilitarian language that consists of ten really simple, like, monosyllabic words that don't have any double meaning, any nuance, anything like that, and that way these people won't be confused, okay? Just take the Queen's English and all its complexity, beauty, and nuance and just flush the fucker. <laughs> All right. Let me point out, you know, Sarge, you're not alone in your uh, goddamn idiocy. Um, you know, we got calls from half the fucking town, you know, saying that uh, I was so evil for wanting to gut shoot frat boys. Yeah. She's out, yeah, she's really out there gut shooting frat boys, you know. So watch out, Sigma Nu. I'm coming for your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> But they, there was a parade, I guess, in downtown Fayetteville uh, not too long ago, but they were interviewing children. And um, uh, these children were from Farmington. And, the, uh, you know, I just wonder, uh, parents, uh, if you don't keep an eye on your children uh, and teach them not to uh, talk to strangers, um, they're, what they're going to do is they're going to get influenced by the wrong types of people. Chaps our asses about these community mouthpiece jerk-offs, okay? They're always the ones who draw a line in the sand and talk about how they're members of the community, blah, 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 the community. And they're always drawing that line in the sand talking about who's, who gets to be a member of the community and who doesn't. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and we made that point on our first night show, which is one of the shows he's, you know, pissing and whining about. You know, there's no shortage of these schmucks. And, uh, 
when we hoist our middle finger up at the camera, these are exactly the kinds of people we're addressing, you know? And uh, since the Sarge has jumped enthusiastically to their defense and, you know, drawn that line in the sand by calling us the wrong type of people, we feel pretty safe in lumping him in with the contingent of folks that we're giving the finger. Yeah. Well, and he goes on, this, you know, this cretin, he goes on about the community and how, you know, we violate community standards. I got a news flash. We are the community. It's us. And as much as you would like to oust us from the community, we're a part of it, and we're not going away. So, you know what, Sarge? You've offended our community standards. And so we're going to make a show complaining about your ass. I am so offended. I am horrified <laughs> that you would come and make such a... Pro I, th well, I think I'll go to City Hall. 